Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out the Razer Cobra Pro mouse. Now this mouse is going to be aimed for competitive slash pro gamers. This mouse comes in a more basic version as well with less features, but today we're going to be getting into the details of the Pro. So this mouse comes with a few different things. It comes with a mouse, of course. It comes with this receiver and also a dongle that can be plugged into the receiver or directly into your computer and this mouse can be used in three different ways in terms of connectivity you can use it either wired like i have here you can go ahead and just unplug it and plug this into your computer the usb receiver and it'll work like that or you can do it via bluetooth bluetooth is going to be the slowest option the second slowest is going to be the receiver and then the fastest option is going to be using the cable if you really want no lag or anything like that now the point of these two parts is you just plug the receiver inside of here and then you plug your usb cable here and the reason people want to do this is so that the receiver will be right next to the mouse sitting on your desk so you'll have the fast fastest possible wireless connection. If you were to plug this USB dongle into your computer, it would be like two, three feet away and that could cause some delay. And of course, it's not just a gaming mouse. It can also be used as a productivity mouse, mainly because it does have some additional customizable buttons. The buttons that are gonna be customizable on this mouse are gonna be these two DPI switchers, which by default, this one is DPI up and this one is DPI down. And then on the bottom, you also have a profile switcher button as well as on the side you have two buttons here by default are back and forth click but again that can be customized in the software now the actual design and build quality of this mouse is going to be fantastic you can see on the side here there's going to be a nice rubber grip which is going to help really grip your hand with the mouse and you're not going to feel like it's trying to slip out of your hand i really feel like it has a firm nice grip the plastics are going to have a nice and smooth finish there's not going to be like this grainy finish so that really feels good and it's going to be easy to clean with a rag and it's always going to look sleek and clean the scroll wheel has no wobble at all if i try to tilt it to the left or right slightly uh, nothing's really happening this thing is firm on there and it does not feel cheap with any rattle or anything like that and the scroll wheel does have this nice rubber grip on there which is really going to give you that precision and then on the back of the mouse you can see this little switch basically what the switch does is switch between the three different connection modes one of them is off one of them is Bluetooth and the other one is going to be using the USB dongle. And then this little circle here, if we go ahead and crack it open, basically what's inside there is a place where you can store your dongle. Or if you have the wireless charger from Razer, you can go ahead and charge your mouse wirelessly. But that's something you'll have to purchase additionally. That's not something that's included in the base model of the Razer Cobra Pro. Now in terms of battery life, this thing is going to last you 170 hours using Bluetooth, which is going to be the slowest connection. And then it's going to last you 100 hours using the hyperspeed USB dongle. Now the clicking experience is going to be really great on this mouse. It's using the Razer Gen 3 optical switches and they have actually like switches like a mechanical keyboard would have. And here's a quick typing test for y'all to hear exactly what it sounds like. I love that you can actually feel the click and it feels very good compared to a membrane switch. It feels more tactile, which, you know, that's always a plus in my book. In terms of comfort, uh, this is really gonna vary depending on your grip style. There's three primary types of grip styles. Palm grip is when you put your hand on the mouse like so, and you just let it float like that. And this feels pretty good to me. It feels good overall for my average sized hands. There's also gonna be claw grip where you put your fingers directly on top of the mouse and then you kind of claw it like that. And this feels good to me as well. I feel like claw grip, you can definitely get away with this if you are a claw gripper and it feels good to me overall and then there's fingertip grip which is when your fingertips kind of float above the mouse and then your thumb is alongside with your ring finger and pinky kind of grab the side so your hands is going to be floating above the mouse and this feels pretty good to me as well all of the three grip styles that are most commonly used on mice are gonna feel great. Now this thing is gonna be a righty only mouse. There's no lefty version that is currently out that I'm aware of. So now the RGB lights. This thing has very bright and vivid lights. You can see that the scroll wheel does have a nice ring around it, which looks really cool. You can see there's also a logo that glows here. 
And then you can also see that the light goes all the way around the mouse. And if I dim my light here, you can really see how bright the lights are in here. And I do have a little red off light and you can see it looks like Christmas here, but you can see the green here is very defined and it does provide a lot of lights. And then if I go into the software settings here, hit up the lighting, you can see that there are gonna be eight different lighting effects that you can choose from. The one I have is static where it just glows one color. You can make it do something like breathing between two colors or you can have any of these. And speaking of the software, this thing has a lot of settings. You can click any of these programmable buttons and here are the settings you can tweak. Keyboard functions, mouse function, sensitivity, switching between profiles, light settings, multimedia, and you can see the list here. Now there's also gonna be a performance mode which is where you can change the DPI. So I go ahead and click my DPI button and you can see that I'm toggling between up and down and that's gonna be really handy to have. And then there's also your polling rate. This is definitely gonna be useful if you want your mouse to be very smooth, the higher the better. So I would definitely recommend keeping it there unless you are trying to preserve the battery life of your mouse. And in the power tab, you can make it enter sleep mode if it's idle for five minutes. And then there's low power mode if it's under a certain percentage level. And then one more thing in the performance, you can also adjust the DPI for different axis points. So X axis and Y axis. So that means when you aim up and down versus is left and right, you can adjust the sensitivity for each level. And then there's calibration where you can see how the mouse works on different mouse pads and configure it to work perfectly there. So this mouse is gonna be perfect for mid-level or pro gamers, or if you're just looking to improve your productivity, then this is gonna be a great mouse. And even if you're not any of those and you just want a fancy mouse, this is definitely a high-end mouse and you're gonna feel like you're using a quality product. So with that being said, if you wanna see a full review of the software with this mouse, be sure to click the video right here. And with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.